Hiya. Good evening. And for those of you outside Europe, I say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. This is Any TV. We are global and social commentators. Remember, we said Any TV is OB centric, but something just cropped up that will affect. It is very important that we update our fans out there, our subscribers out there, especially those that are interested in this issue that we thought have ended. We thought this issue has ended, but it looks as if it's just the beginning of another big trouble ahead. It's the beginning of another Justin Dean and Cora Obidi predicaments. It's the beginning of Dean Ankara's troubles where Dr. Justin Dean is a chiropacto that has been on the social media for the past one year because of his divorce with his wife Cora Obidi who happened to be a singer a dancer and a social media personnel. Finally, in October, the divorce started around March, February, March. Then in October, we finally saw them divorce. And we were happy that, yes, finally, this long divorce has come to an end. We saw Cora Obidi rejoicing that she's now a happy single mom of two. She had two kids for Dr. Dr. Justin Dean, Athena, and June. So she was very happy. But on the contrary, Dr. Justin Dean said that he see it as he has faith that he has failed because he believed marriage should be eternity. That two people should try and work out the differences even in marriage. So we were very happy that these two couples have finally hung their boxing gloves. Cora went to Nigeria because the kids were have been split 50-50. Justin Dean took the kids for Christmas while Cora took the kids for New Year. So Cora went to Nigeria to see her parents. Then went to Ghana to see her producer. Re remember, she came out with a new single, Big Cora. In less than a month, she had 1 million, 1.2 views in less than a month so big cora is doing well then she went back to the states where she is currently based and her sister who she went to see in nigeria gave us a surprise by visiting cora in the u.s with her husband so it was a very present moment that Cora had with her sister and the brother-in-law. Even in one of the video, we watch how Cora went to swap the kids with Justin Dean when it was the turn of Dr. Justin Dean to take custody of the kids. And the brother-in-law went to say hi to Justin Dean. And we all, a lot of people, applauded what he did. It was only Nassim who said he was not too happy that his husband went to say hi or hello to Justin Dean. And most of us were seeing Nassim, the sister of Cora, as a troublemaker, somebody that has not forgotten this whole issue that she should let sleeping dog lie 
just as we we are just happy that the whole thing went like that, boom, Cora came out crying yesterday. She was crying. What happened? Dr. Justy Dean is still insisting on taking the kids away from her. It's not just taking the kids away from her. He's just waiting for any slight mistake that Cora happened to do in a live video. He runs straight to his lawyer, compiled the whole thing, and send it to the judge asking for the full children custodies. So we are asking this question. This is the third time that Justine Dean have went to ask for full custody and the court has refused. The court has struck it out because the court felt it's better that the kids are so young. It's better that both parents are really in the life of these kids. And I personally think that's the right thing to do. So, because of that, Cora came out and Cora said a lot of things. I'm going to leave the video behind. It's a eight minute video and Cora said a lot of things. That one, he paid Justin Dean $50,000. We don't know if the $50,000 was to pay him off, to leave her alone. Or just to make peace. But Nancy said it was equalization fee. But if it was... We, 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 we are going to talk about it because there's a lot to talk about now. We need to talk about the 50000 that was given to Justin Dean. Justin Dean now is threatening that he is no longer going to keep the kids in a private school. That he is going to put them in a public school. But the question we ask that even the children's school fees is being paid by Cora. You are not paying the children's school fees and all the children fees. What is why is it that you are troubled that you want to remove them from a private school and put them in a public school? I just don't understand why Justin Dean took that action. But we are going to reveal to you why. Justy Dean has come out in his life chat that he's going to get a better apartment, a bigger apartment, a three rooms, one for the kids, one for him, and probably one for the studio. He is contemplating whether to use it for the studio or for the, the kids' playrooms or something like that. Why is Justy Dean telling us all this? What is cooking in Justy Dean's mind? Or what he and the lawyers are planning. We will reveal this later. Then, Cora also said that he suffered abuses from Dr. Justin Dean. We will also tell you how it happened, what we know about the abuses and all. He also said that Justin Dean is a drug abuser. He uses drug. We don't know if it's vitamina, cocaine, heroin. We just don't know. But that is what she said. And that we should watch out for her book that is coming out. That she is now going to speak out. We don't know when the book is coming out, but we, we are very sure it will be less than a month. So... This is why we are just making this. We just don't want to leave our subscribers without this juicy gist. Uh, we will keep alternating it, but we want to let you know that the survivor of that country called Nigeria is uppermost in my mind. It's uppermost in any TV. So we will occasionally just troop in something for your daylights. But if you are a Nigerian and you will be in Nigeria by February, between 20th to the ending of February, please don't forget to vote. Vote, Peter Obi. 
vote the hope of Nigeria. Vote the man of the people. Vote the man for the people. Peter Obi is a must if we must move forward. Peter Obi is the man for the people. So if it's the first time you're coming across this video, this is Ini TV. We are global and social commentators. And here we are obi-centric. We ask you to please subscribe. After you subscribe, just press the notification bell button so that each time we upload video, it comes directly to you. And for our returning subscribers, we say, we love you, but God love you most. And thank you, thank you, thank you for being there. We will catch you when we make our next video. Until then, we say, chooks, adios, au revoir, hasta la vista. Now watch 8 minutes video of Cora Ob Obidi launching, putting on our boxing glove. The battle is about to begin. Dr. Justin Dean and Cora Obidi, part two. Thank you. You and your lawyer, you are very vindictive human beings. I've never seen any sort of human beings heartless and to the rotten to the core. I have never, and I will never be negligent to my children. They're my children. What am I living for? I'm living for my children. The mother was so consumed with her live streaming that she became unattentive to dream. You know, your lawyer, you will forever pay for this. If I'm serving God, I will dance on top of your head. You and your lawyer, I will dance on your head. I will pray to my maker because this is sad. June and Athena are not your pawns to win some sick battle, even after $50,000. $50,000. How much did you bring me to this country with? So if we're being factual, if we want to calculate it, is it not more than enough compensation? Because I said no more slapping me, no more beating me, no more insulting me, no more calling me cunt, bitch, every two, two days. No more slapping me in front of June and Athena, no more slapping me in front of my kids. Because I said I didn't want it anymore. Is that the crime I made? Is that the crime? Because I decided to stand for myself. Because I said, my daughter is not going to see me. My new child is not going to see you slap and call me a cunt. Because I stood up for myself. The only thing I have truly is my voice, and you're not going to silence it. You can keep filing, keep filing in the courts, but America is a just society. And by God's grace, no one is going to take my child and my children away from me. Waking up to this and seeing you doing all these, when I have serious things that I can pin on you, and your drug use, Just because I decided I will no longer be a recipient to your abuse. You're trying to take my children and rip them from their mother. You guys are going to see every single step. I was going to close the case. Get my divorce finalized and close the case. Just for me to see this. Because of fifty thousand dollars. I should have called the cops when he was hitting me back then. I did. The cops showed up in my house two to three times. I did. The first house we lived, the second house we lived, the third house we lived, the cops showed up three times. I still have pictures of scars.
scars that he gave me that my sister has. And that's why he's afraid of my sister. Because she has all the pictures of when I would be crying and calling and calling my parents and saying, I made a mistake, I married an abuser. 